The first step you'll take is transferring your photos from the Nikon camera to your computer. Now, strictly speaking, this is not a feature of the Capture NX2 software as it's done by another application called Nikon Transfer. And Nikon Transfer is included with Capture NX2 and is also available for free via the Nikon website. The Nikon Transfer provides a number of functions. You can add metadata information to the photo, which is quite useful. You can create destination folders to place your photos into when transferring them across from your camera to your computer. Uh, there's also a feature to copy the photos across to another destination, such as a separate hard drive for backup. And you can rename your photos as they transfer to your computer. The software is activated automatically when you connect your camera to the computer via USB cable or when you insert an SD card into the computer. So when you connect to your camera to your laptop and switch it on, Nikon transfer automatically starts up and uh, you can click on the thumbnails and see what images you've got stored on the SD card on your camera. You can be selective if you want to as to, and you can be selective as to which particular images you want to transfer from your, from your camera across to your uh, laptop. I always select all. It's pretty straightforward. You click start transfer and uh, it, away it goes. What I like about this is that I can add some of the metadata at the time of transfer. There's a couple of templates that uh, Nikon have created for you. Uh, the one that I use is a copyright template, and that's got some. It's got a set of fields that uh, you can select from. Um, I only select. I've only selected a couple of them, but uh, you can select as many as you like from this t the template, and uh, and then fill them in with some default uh, text and that will get added to your images as they're transferred across to your laptop. In the copyright field, if you hold down the Alt key and then type in zero, the number 0169, so that's hold down the Alt key whilst pre typing in 0169, uh, you get that copyright symbol appear. I don't think I need that a bit over the top. As you can see, there's, there's just loads of um, loads of different types of fields that uh, you can use to add information to the images uh, as it gets transferred across. So this will be part of the metadata. Embed ICC information, uh, ICC stands for uh, International Color Consortium, and that's if you want to print your images. Select the destination folder. I always create a subfolder for each transfer. It helps to uh, keep the photos organized. I like the various options that uh, Nikon Transfer gives you for, for naming the, the actual folders. You can come up with quite a complex naming scheme if you, if you so wish. I just stick to a simple number. And you can also rename the photos during the transfer as well. And again, you've got options to come up with some quite complex naming schemes. I don't bother renaming my photos, just like to keep it simple. Now, if you've got an external drive connected to your laptop, you can back up photos. You can send a copy uh, of, the, of the images across to your backup drive. I haven't got one connected, so there's no, no point uh, selecting that. The preferences are self-explanatory. I have heard different views with regards to deleting the original files after transfer. Um, some people say you should reformat the SD card rather than deleting the files. Again, I, I take the simpler option of just deleting them, though I've heard some criticism uh, of, that, uh, of that method. 
And that's it. When you finish, just click on uh, transfer and uh, the images will then be transferred across to your laptop.